taste it. It will blow your mind. Mm. I'm drooling. <laughs> All right. It looks fun. I'm so happy today. Like ah. Right. I will tell you the price later because you will be surprised. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never eaten something like this before in my life. So, Adiha, welcome back to the channel. My name is Opal, and today we are checking out Ray Nike and Steak Bar, a very interesting concept restaurant which is a fusion between Japanese and Peruvian cuisines, owned by Chef Up, who is the first winner of the next Iron Chef Thailand and head chef of Hell Kitchen Thailand. And to be honest, I'm super duper nervous today because I will get to meet the celebrity chef of Thailand and get to try his food. So wish me luck on that because, you know, I'm just a girl who loves to eat good food and doesn't cook. So, I guarantee that today's story is going to be tasty. Before we move on, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let's go eat. Sadiha. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet you too. Cool. Hi, you guys. Uh, would you like your, your restaurant looks amazing? Thank you would so you much. Would you like to tell me a little bit of your restaurant? Yeah, for sure. Or like you see you know, the paintings, everything is more on the Spanish side. Uh -huh, yes. So yeah, most of my ingredients is all Spanish. Uh -huh. So I pretty much mix with Thai and Peruvian. Peruvian is Spanish too. What inspired you to create this restaurant? It's like trending of eating, right? When I see a popular chef, not in Thailand, I mean mm -hmm. outside the country. Sometimes they post something that I don't really see it in Thailand. So when I found out that there's, there's not a lot of Nikkei, I have more chance exactly. to put up one. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, so when I put up one, at the beginning, not a lot of people think I'm going to make it. Because Thai people, they don't really want to try some. You think about, no, no. you are Thai, but you think about Peruvian here in Thailand. I've no? never I've, heard Yeah, I don't think Thai people eat Peruvian. Peruvian yeah. But did, did you have your uh, the, uh, next Iron Chef then? Of course, of course. Ah. This one only been open for one year. Ah, oh, but still people don't think you're going to make it. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people. Because they, they don't know. Aww. Once it's happened, I told all my fans, hey, wait and see, man, this thing is gonna pop. So all of a sudden, man, it's pop. And it's pop every day. Ooh, I cannot wait to try. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been seeing you uh, work. Yeah. You, yeah, you pretty much eating Thai food. Well, this is gonna be another day that you don't eat Thai food at all. Some of my audience mentioned that I only show them Thai food, but never other Thai within Thailand. Mm. So this is going to be my first video. And well, thank you so much for stopping by. It's my honor too. <laughs> thank you. So let's let's dig in, you guys. Right. Let's do it. Dig in. Buffalo beef. Baby buffalo. Sourness, mm -hmm. everything will be there. Mm -hmm. So combine, I'm tired. So I will mix and mask the taste profile with the same taste that you can enjoy. That I, cannot, I cannot concentrate on what you're saying right now. Exactly, I know. I'm drooling. <laughs> All right. Well, starting off with the first one, beef jerky. Beef so jerky. when you eat beef jerky, beef jerky is supposed to be chewy, mm -hmm. and then basically it's supposed to be soaking uh -huh. in your in your mouth for a minute before you chew it. Uh -huh. So try this beef jerky. Pick the one with the fat. It'll be nice too. This one. Yeah, nice. Uh -huh. so, so I, I don't swallow. Just no, you, you you chew and you, chew. you you eat normal. But I want you to taste it at the beginning. I'm freaking out. Like I'm so nervous right now because it's <laughs> chef. Like a Thailand celebrity chef sitting right next to me. I want to eat his food and I'm like. <laughs> okay, so that's a beef jerky. Okay. And if, uh, beef jerky is something quick and easy. When you come here, you can order quick. Kirana. <laughs> oh, try, please. <laughs> so it's, it's good with the. Uh, the more I can taste. Yeah. Mm. And then you swallow normal. Oh, savory. Sweet and sour. Sweet and I mean, I mean sweet and salty. Salty, yeah. yeah salty sweet and salty. sweet. Mm. And then you grab one of these small balls right here. Uh, is that pepper? It looks like pepper. Taste it. Just take one. Just take one. And taste it. After that, how does it feel? Mm. Refreshing. Right. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so this is how it's done. This is how you're supposed to eat food. This is the proper way you guys eat food, yeah? <laughs> well, yeah. It can be that way. It doesn't have to be that. Mm. But if you want something that you didn't eat right after, so that will be the one. Next one will be this one. This is nacho glande. We have two different types of nacho here in this restaurant. So the first one is the nacho glande. It's something like this with the beef, salsa, mm -hmm. pico de gallo, sour cream, mm -hmm. the cheese whisk, mm -hmm. and the uh, beef that have wow. the flavor yes. of the Spanish. So when, the way you eat it, you just pick one, mm -hmm. pick one like that, and try to grab the whole thing. And then we cheer. Cheers! Bing! 
Không dây nữa I'm not kidding. I'm not bullshitting. I mean, like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> oh, yeah. where was I, guys? Like, why didn't you bring me here before? <laughs> you want to move on? Yeah. Okay, I like let's move on. You, you done down. You done this. You done mm -hmm. this already. I'm gonna give you step. It will elevate you up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that already, this already done. Next one will be that one. Okay, hot. Do I use so, my hand? Yep, this okay. one I'm gonna show you how to eat it. A lot of a lot of people come here and they don't wanna get their hand dirty, which is uh. wrong. So some of them it's a finger food. Then what do you do? You just grab it like this. Ah. Just grab it like this. Cut like this. Yeah, like but then you just bite on it. Chon. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, tasty. Creamy, but still savory and tasty. It's not that cheesy, and it's just like for me as a Thai, I love it because I don't. I'm not a big fan of cheese, but you put something on the top that butter, grilled sweet corn. Right? I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. And then on top, I will clean and make this. And on top again, it will be grated Parmesan cheese. And then I do clean and the red thing. It will be uh, smoked paprika and uh, dry parsley. That's it. But that sound is so simple. Super simple. I didn't I even do it anything. It's so good. It was just a combination. What did you do? You put something just, secret? No, just a combination of the food. <laughs> the clean and the seed all combined. That's the buffalo meat. The baby buffalo? Yeah, that's baby buffalo. Well, we're going to move on to that one. That one's not going to be done yet. Alright, then we're going to go with that one before it loses up the temperature. What is it called again? That's the, uh, just the UK, like a UK. Okay. Okay, what you do, grab it on the side. Mm -hmm. You can use this. You can pop it, grab the, the beef and the egg at the same time. We have never eaten something like this before in my life. It's the same. Yeah, no one. Yeah, it's the First taste. Honey, that's the sweetness mm. of the honey. Well, I thought I, I, I didn't gonna like it, but wow. It's raw, right? Raw. Yeah. I don't, eat, you don't eat raw? Not not usually. It didn't like as I expect. But it's not fish. It's not. No, it's not cow. Uh, it's not fish. It's not beefy. It's not beefy. It's, yeah, it, it's clean. It's super clean. Well, you know, trying your dish is, has opened up my food world. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a food vlogger. I vlog a lot of food, as you know. But um, this is something new. Oh, that's why this one. This is one of the mm. one of my favorites. Uh, yeah. This is less snapper. That's hamachi. Mm. This is less snapper. Great snapper, okay. Mm -hmm. So, first less snapper, what I do, I put it in the uh, cold smoke box. Normally when you smoke, you, uh -huh. you need to put like a little bit of a uh, temperature, mm -hmm. higher temperature to, mm -hmm. to smoke to kill mm -hmm. the meat. But if it's cold, try it, one piece with everything. Colorful, <laughs> I love the presentation already. Wow, it's so vibrant. And Kilo. Kilo, have one bite. <laughs> a lot of Japanese food, but it's not. So it no. is, it is. It's just Japanese Peruvian. But it's, not, it's, it's a lot more tastier. Yeah, so mm. it's Peruvian. I feel color going, dancing in my brain right now. It's it. So yeah. colorful, it's so so vibrant and, and tasty. So what you're seeing, the uh, pico de gallo, you see the pico jalapeno, mm -hmm. you see the lemon skin mm -hmm. compote. There's so many things in there just to give that's you why. a different dimension of flavor. Mm. That's why my brain is dancing right now. <laughs> and I love the, the crunchiness. Yeah, yeah. Give you a texture. It's because the fish, like. the fish will give you just the fish texture. Mm. You need another, another type, a different type of texture combined in all different types of taste. Mm. And that way, when you chew on it, you fall in love with it every single yeah, bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you cannot stop chewing. I know. <laughs> Next one. How many <coughs> dishes have I tried? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I want to tell you something. Usually when you go to a restaurant, for example, if you order 10, there mm. will be one dish that you don't like. Hopefully, it will, be, hopefully it will be one here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Wow, I'm loving it. Everything. Nice. <laughs> okay, I need to put the hamashi. Sauce is a hi verde. A hi means pink. Verde is a red. It's a red sauce. Let me add pomegranate. I see pomegranate. The sauce I'm using is the balsamic reduction. Cut the red sauce in this sauce. What about the yellow? No, that's the fat tong. Oh, Personally, I like pickles or crunchy vegetables, yeah, yeah. so that's why I'm loving it so far. That one, huh? So, cheese! Mmm! Mmm! 
sweet. Spice up, garlic a so little bit. It's sort of it's um raw fish like this one, mm -hmm. but this one I, I taste more sweet from the sauce, right? From the sauce, the sweetness maybe from the uh, balsamic reduction, the black one, mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. from the fruit that you should say. You mm. have the pomegranate in there. You have some of the pickle. That's a sweet pickle. The pumpkin is actually sweet pickle. Mm. The pickle you can you know you can pickle in in a so sour way. Pumpkin. Of course, that's a pumpkin. That's pickle. We pickle oh, everything. Oh, you know that? Wow. Yeah. I'm special. Like as a food vlogger, sometimes some dish is good. You say it's good, but the five dishes I've tried is exquisite. But I love it. I'm not. I don't even eat this type of food, but it's so colorful, told so tasty. Highly recommend so far. I haven't tried all, but love it. I wish. I wish you were here. I will tell you the price later because you will be surprised. A lot of people think that. Uh, when it comes to eat chef off food, it's gonna yeah. be expensive, man. Another yeah. restaurant. Some of, some of the restaurants I had that's, that's expensive. Yeah. But this one, I want it to mm. be like something that people can stop by, drink, and eat mm -hmm, before mm -hmm. you go home. Mm. So the price is to be good and affordable. Next one, you're gonna. Um, I want you to try this one first, and then you can try that okay. one. Tell me, I don't believe you. You're lying. What did you put? If you're a chef, mm. you should know how to combine different tastes, different flavor, different ingredients to become uh, one bite. Nice. So. What I do, I would just try to create a unique bite with a unique look. At first, I thought you were going to say, Sai Jai. <laughs> Someone like me can be cheesy like that? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> And this one will be a little bit of 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 <laughs> and I'm um, I'm a big fan of beef. Like ah, right. <laughs> so good. The way the technique of grilling steak, mm -hmm. different chefs have different techniques, uh -huh. different methods. That's cooked medium rare, but the way you cook it, so you make it the inside look so pink. Yeah. <clears throat> but it doesn't mean it's raw. That's how I cook it. And then it's outside, it look black. Yeah. Where well, it's not burned. That is a dry rub. They actually rub it before I grill it. So the rub that I use. Some of the chef, they mm -hmm. thought that I'm using the black charcoal. Yeah. Imagine that. If you can put charcoal on the on the beef that much too, you're gonna <laughs> die soon, man. You can't. That one is not there's no charcoal in there. That's the coffee grind, the cacao powder. I'm using a lot of uh, spices and I roast it until it's, it's turning towards black, but it's not burned yet. Okay. After I grind it, I wrapped it, I grilled it so the spice and the fat of the meat activated with the fire it became like that. The way you describe it sounds about oh my god, oh my god, it's like it's like God describing food. Exactly, you should try it. So this is your own like you you invented this. This is your own way of cooking. Of course, make sure every time you cut the steak, you want to make sure it will fit your bite. And ah, that's it. okay. Ooh, cut. I can feel the the, the the tenderness. The tenderness. And don't forget, this is a baby buffalo. One piece, the way you want. With the garlic, mm -hmm. first bite you eat without the salt. The second bite you can dip with the salt, right? Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, tender, like surprisingly tender. Like you, you pretty much can just swallow. Just like a few chewing and then savory and um, not too salty, and it surprised me because. I thought it was gonna be better because it's you black. put no, and then you put uh, coffee cacao. Mm -hmm. and cacao. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's not. It's not supposed to be bitter. Don't forget, bitter is one of the tastes that you must know, but you don't have to eat it all the time. Okay. <laughs> Let me try one more with the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. The sauce is, is, is even better. I mean, I'm, I'm the type of person that cannot eat just one taste. So when the sauce enters, the vegetable enters, it's such a perfect combination. Okay. Perfect combination. Well done, chef! <laughs> 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 
I think this is actually my first time eating buffalo. It doesn't feel like buffalo. I thought it would be like chewy, meow. Well, this one is the uh, Buffalo from uh, Gasset University. That's a 30 day dry eat mm. buffalo meat. Every part of the buffalo, I already had it. Oh. I picked this part mm -hmm. because it's easier to understand. Mm. It is easier to eat mm. and it's easier to explain to the customer that, well, once you try it, trust me, you will love it. I can taste a little spiciness. It is. In here. Wow, it's all the taste is here. It's a different, yeah, everything. You can you can pick one more, cut the piece, and now you're gonna put some some vegetable on top of the meat and eat it one bite. You know, put a, yeah. put a little bit, put a little that, and then try it. Next time you're gonna try this one. Beef. Beef. No, no, that's the beef. Wow. I need to put into a wagyu steak. What is this? What is this? It's so nice. It looks fun. Well, yeah, that's the uh, that's the wagyu steak. You might want to pick the middle piece. And then uh, the sauce on the side is the uh, ahi amalillo. And then first piece, you eat it without the sauce. The second piece, you eat it with the okay. sauce. So you know the taste of the beef first, right? Bing! Mmm! Second piece, you dipped it. Mm. I mean, the beef itself it's is good already. It's good already. This one called ahi verde, that one called ahi amalillo. Amalillo mm. is mean yellow, right? I see. So that's the yellow sauce. I can feel the tenderness and the tasty. That's how I cooked it. That's how I rested. Oh, yeah. The technique of cooking. Mm. It sounds easy, but it's difficult. Otherwise, cooking steak can be easy. Everyone can make mm. it success already. Mm. You know? mm. Right now, I appreciate because some little detail I can see that people pay attention. Yep. And even the presentation, all yep. the ingredients, the amount, the right proportion in one dish is a lot of effort. Ma, Nick, Ani, The one in the middle. Same thing, you might see a lot of egg yolk on my dish. Same thing, the one in the middle is the egg yolk. It's already pickled. I pickle with the soy sauce. Uh -huh. What you do, you no. pick the scallop and then you kind of like dip oh, in the egg yolk. The scallop is already pickled. Oh, the scallop is already pickled? Well, basically, okay. when you see pickled scallop in Thailand, it will turn dark like soy sauce color. This is how you pickle the scallop with the same color. Uh -huh. Taste it, it will blow your mind. Wow. Mm. Fresh. Bouncy. And don't forget, I told no you that. Yeah, not fishy at all, mm. trust me. And I told you, remember, the scallop is already pickled. Yeah. And most of the time when you eat pickled scallop here in Thailand, it will, it will be dark color. Mm. It'll be like a yeah, soy sauce color. Mm -mm. So this is yeah, how I do okay. pickled scallop with color mm. there. It's so tasty because it's been pickled. I know you know random chef now because you really pay attention in every single freaking detail here. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Hi, hi. Okay, last one. No, last one. two more. Mm. How about go with that one first and go with this one later? I'm going to eat It's not that crunchy that I thought. It's still like Cook. easy to chew. It's real, it's, it's, it's real zucchini. I'll eat one more. Wow, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so happy today. <laughs> There's a reason that I let you eat this the last. last. Not because of it will be the best bite ever, no. Mm. Because I want you to see that this one called spicy salmon chicharron. Oh, okay. So on top, that's a spicy salmon. Mm. On the bottom, that's the chicken chicharron. Chicken chicharron is the chicken skin. So it's been sitting here since the same time it came in. But I am want you to taste the chicken skin. It won't get mushy, it won't get soggy. It will be super crunchy, I, I, mean, I think. Hold on, <laughs> finger cross. So, so salmon and, and chicken skin, I've never tried this combination of course, before in my life. you don't. <laughs> you can pick it, you can use your hand, pick it up. I try to look it. Stop your hand. ไอ้ซีคริสตี้โอ้ทําไมกรอบนี้ห่าแหลกแล้วก็กินกับตัวสไปซี่แซลมอนค่ะแล้วหยิบก็เพียวก็จะปกติถ้าหยิบขึ้
We have two. We have two different type of uh, percent off. We got ten percent off, fifteen percent off. Ten percent off is for all little people. Fifteen percent off for friend and family. You can become friend and family, so you get fifteen percent off from now on. Yeah. How do I get fifty? Dude, I can't even get fifty myself, man. What are you talking about? So lastly, before I let you go, it's such an honor to meet as a person because I have been watching you. I've seen you on TV. Okay. And uh, you look beyond a scary. Not I am. I am. <coughs> When I work, <laughs> I'm work. Mm -mm. <laughs> so you, are you working? This is I'm not. No, this is this is off time. Mm -mm. I think you look scary on t television, but so I know you as a person, you're totally different. You're so it sweet is. and friendly, and <laughs> seriously, you guys, we're sitting right here. Sometimes he just excuse me to say hi to his customers. So if you're lucky and you bump into him, he will definitely come say hi and ask for photos. He's like the loveliest chef I've ever met. So thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will give you some sense of prices. The most expensive dish is this one, which is? 750 bucks. 750. Imagine. Like imagine the rest, how much it would be. The uh, ceviche is 250 bucks to 350 bucks. Ilote is only 150. Fried rice, pasta is only 350. So you know like you get to try one of the top chef of Thailand and the order price is so affordable. Like everyone literally can come here and order like this much of food and get full and sleep well. Like <laughs> Mark. And you know what? One more thing. It's right in Bangkok, right in town. You can take BTS to Tong Lao Station and you can either walk 10 minutes walk from the station or just 2 minutes bike ride. I took a bike. Here you are, you'll find stuff. It's so easy to find. So thank you so much, Chef. Thank you so much. So that's pretty much it about today's tasty story, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And any questions about coming here, about the price or about anything about this restaurant and the chef at all, ask me in the comments. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.